The Gambia government, in its drive to fulfill the rights of children, has ratified many international legal instruments. These include the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child and the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. It has also enacted national laws such as the Children's Act 2005, the Women's Act 2010, Trafficking in Persons Act 2007, Sexual Offences Act 2013, and the Domestic Violence Act 2013. Education for primary, lower, and upper basic schools is free in public schools. However, children, by virtue of their vulnerability, powerlessness, dependency, and limited voice, face many rights violations and denials, including abuse, violence, exploitation, and discrimination. According to the UNICEF 2010 Multiple Indicator Cluster Survey, Central River, Lower River, and Upper River regions have the highest prevalence rate for child marriage, female genital mutilation or cutting, and low birth registration rates for children and educational attainment for children well below the national average. ActionAid International de Gambia, in partnership with the Child Protection Alliance, CPA, and FAWEGAM, on Thursday, the 9th of June, jointly launched the project entitled Empowering Child Focus Organizations to Promote Children's Rights in Three Regions of the Gambia, Lower River, Central River, and Upper River Regions. The launching ceremony took place in Soma, in the Lower River Region. This project is another step towards positively changing the lives of the vulnerable, that is children, particularly um, uh, children with special needs, that is disabled children. Through the coordination of uh, CPA and FAWEGAM, the project will strengthen and empower child-focused uh, organizations to lead children's rights advocacy in the CRR, LRR, and URR. Children are viewed as persons with limited capacity to make informed choices and decisions. Their life, survival, and development are largely dependent on, on us as duty bearers. Therefore, it becomes our responsibility to ensure not only, not only are their rights promoted or respected and fulfilled, but also protected against all forms of violence, including sexual violence and harmful traditional practices like FGM, early marriage and forced marriage. The empowerment process should start from the home where the confidence will be built before they go out. Thus, the honors lies on each of us. We all have a role to play in the empowerment process. I would like to remind you that the government of the Gambia, under the leadership of His Excellency, Sir Professor Yaa Jame, is committed in promoting children's rights, especially the rights to education, by making education free to all irrespective of their location and sex. We all know and recognize that government alone cannot meet all the challenges of development. Therefore, an enabling environment has been created for partners and stakeholders in the development arena such as NGOs and donors to complement their efforts. The EU believes that non-governmental organizations, NGOs, have a critical role to play in filling the gaps where social services are not fully provided. Action Aid, the Child Protection Alliance and the Forum for African Women's Education Gambia Chapter are very reliable partners with proven excellent capacity to support and protect child's rights in the Gambia. The very large audience attending the launching ceremony today is already a great indicator of success for this project.
The project worth 400,000 euros, approximately 18 million dollars, is co-funded by the European Union, EU, and ActionAid. The overall objective of the project is to contribute to the promotion of children's rights in the Gambia to ensure that their rights and needs are respected and fulfilled. The implementing partners are the Child Protection Alliance, CPA, and the Forum for African Women's Education Gambia Chapter, FAWIGAM. The project will intervene in the three respective regions and will last for a period of three years, January 2016 to December 2018. One thing everyone should know, that it is the right of every child to be educated. The child you might educate might be the one to save you in the very near future.